Hey guys, Damien here. Real quick, I have a question for you. What is the very first thing that comes to mind when you picture a guy going out to try to learn and get better with women? Most of you probably conjured up images of elaborately dressed men using magic tricks and or manipulation tactics to literally charm the pants off of unsuspecting and impressionable girls. If you're a woman, you may even picture a predator on the prowl or maybe the last man in your life to lie or cheat. Some will have positive feelings about learned attraction, but sadly, most won't. Why is that? The first question that should be asked is, if you remove the manipulation and the game playing and the misogyny, is there something intrinsically wrong with learned attraction? On the face of it, many people think there is. They feel that learning to be better with girls somehow makes an interaction fake. Many feel that true attraction should be an organic thing that just happens without any concerted force of effort. To attract a girl on purpose would somehow suck all the romance out of it. After all, Prince Charming never had a notebook in his pocket with a list titled, Fun Discussions Topics to Bring Up on a First Date. So this is how we as a culture generally feel. But is that necessarily a logical or fair assessment to pass? Let's have a little look at what we do know for sure. We know, for example, that male chimpanzees, our closest genetic relatives in the animal kingdom, when isolated from other chimps at a young age, then reintroduced well into maturity, are sexually rejected by the group because they express sexual behaviors that are considered entirely inappropriate. And are in fact so comical that even the researchers have to have a laugh. They are in short extremely sexually uncalibrated because they never learned appropriate behavior from their tribe. In fact, this kind of learning to attract mates from your peers thing is extremely common in the animal kingdom and is especially obvious in all higher order mammals, namely primates, whales and dolphins. This process of learning isn't too hard to spot in adults either. Simply think back to your awkward teenage years. You know, we all have memories of doing or saying the most embarrassing things around the objects of our affection. Uh, many of you still can look back and cringe to this day. But imagine if you didn't have those learning opportunities and experiences. Imagine if you made it into adulthood without ever having had the opportunity to make those mistakes. You can certainly imagine a world in which you now might be very socially and sexually uncalibrated. It might be considered cute or charming to see two teenagers acting stupidly and awkwardly around each other. But to see a male adult behaving that way is all too often considered creepy, or at least unappealing. Could that happen to be an unfair label to give to a guy that simply hasn't received a type of social education that others have taken for granted? Could you possibly imagine a world in which someone helps that guy learn the ropes so that he has a better chance of finding a partner for himself? I wouldn't expect you to embrace a culture that breeds a passive aggressive contempt for women. I wouldn't ask you to embrace a culture that teaches manipulation and crushes the individual identities of impressionable but well-meaning lonely men. But I'd certainly like to reach out and ask the world to embrace a man's right to go out and improve an area of his life that's hurting him to his very core. As a society, we've embraced humankind's right to self-improve, to get fitter and stronger and healthier and more motivated to become better versions of ourselves in almost all areas of our lives. But as a society, we have yet to embrace a man's right to improve his ability to attract the kind of woman that he wants in his life. But who knows, maybe I'm just being biased. I've dedicated the last six years of my life to helping men become more attractive versions of themselves without the misogyny and the manipulation. Surely men have a right to improve this area of their lives. I want to know what you think. Is there something intrinsically wrong with learning attraction? Are men forever doomed to relive the past failures in their dating lives over and over again without any hope of improvement? Comment below and let me know what you think. Do you agree with me or not?